Well, the war in Ukraine rages on with no quick end in sight. And of course, you know, the U.S. and other nations in the West have been pouring aid into Ukraine. The question is, what will happen now? As Republicans prepare to take control of the House, they are saying that they want transparency on how taxpayer money is used in Ukraine. News Nation correspondent Joe Khalil live for us in Washington with more on what the GOP will be looking at in the new year. Joe. Well, Natasha, it was really striking today. Two of the top House Republicans appeared together to talk about support for Ukraine and the support that they want to see continued from the U.S. into Ukraine. And the reason that that was striking and really important is because there has been this speculation that when Republicans take control of the House, the money and the weapons that the U.S. has been funneling into Ukraine for the war effort may stop. The reason that that speculation exists is because there are some members of the House, like Marjorie Taylor Greene and a couple of other high-profile Republicans that have called for that directly to stop all aid uh, into Ukraine. But there are still other Republicans who say that they wish to continue supporting Ukraine. They're just not sure if we have a full accounting of how every dollar that the United States has sent to Ukraine is being spent. So that's the concern there. These two top Republicans want to make sure that with American tax dollars, there is a full accounting. Here's what Congressman McCall from Texas said earlier this morning. The Republicans are not going to rule like that. We have a voice now, and we're going to do this in an accountable way and with transparency to the American people. These are American taxpayer dollars going in. Does that diminish our will to help the Ukrainian people fight? No. So Republicans have promised to do some audits now on how that money has been spent. And knowing those audits are coming, the White House has been trying to sort of scramble together to make sure that they also know where every dollar has gone in Ukraine and where the weapons have gone. Uh, there's a report that only about 10 percent of the 22,000 weapons that were sent to Ukraine actually got in-person inspections. So that's going to be something that we're watching. Uh, we also happen to know that the Pentagon and the State Department are putting together their own individual plans to make sure that the weapons sent into Ukraine don't end up in the wrong hands once they get to the battlefield. Natasha? Yes, of course, that's so important as well. Joe Khalil, live for us in D.C., thank yeah. you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.